Hello, my people. This is Dan Hicks. Join me and the Hot Legs Saturday, April 21st for Musicians Workshops in-home concert at a private estate home in Temecula. We'll be putting down our hard-cut and folk swing music. Tickets are available online at musiciansworkshop.org or by calling 951-678-2517. So we'll see you there April 21st. It's going to be an awesome evening. I know you guys are all ready and very excited to be here. We're going to bring up the band. They're going to get ready. And uh, I'd like to introduce the uh, Dan Hicks and the Hot Lips. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Dan. We're going to get kind of plugged in and uh, set up and everything. So just talk amongst yourselves. Until um, we can get going, we do mostly original kind of material with the swing, swing kind of sound, and we'll be doing uh, quite a few tunes in our original repertoire from a couple decades ago, and this kind of thing. So we're gonna. Um, do an easy tune here just to get make sure the sounds uh, happening and you get used to the sound and we get used to it and We've got the lickettes with us tonight ladies and gentlemen fabulous lickettes And the, the Lickmen, the Lickmen are here. Test. It'll do kind of a call and response uh, type number, just to give you an idea of what it's, what it's going to be like. If you don't like this first tune, then... Um, you know, I I just go go ahead and go on home, because it's sort of indicative. It's indicative of what we're gonna do.
cooler he'll be on his way to singing happy tales to you. Then you'll find yourself just like me, singing, 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 singing to that evening breeze. Yeah. Why, oh why, did she go and leave me? Now I do just as I please. Is that so bad? No, 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 no. And you could. So she made her get away But did you try and stop her? Oh, no, no, no So she made her get away I knew that she was leaving And I said, she could leave my let her go And she made her get away That's beautiful. More guitar, please. We're making a couple of technical dip, technical problems here now, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna make we got some got some stuff we're saying to the sound guy. Some important technical professional stuff. So we can get it just perfect. The next thing we're gonna do is a, a song by Tom Waits. You might have heard of him. Bon Vivant, uh, Man About Town, Tom Waits, singer, songwriter. He's got a song he does, a kind of a fantasy tune about a particular, well, gigs that he plays and inanimate objects uh, become animate and shh. We're not going to fight over this. We do not fight. We do not fight the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. We let the people talk and, 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 and whisper and make a little noise for a while. And then we let it get to us. And then we say something. Okay? We say it's your dime. We're thinking it's your dime. You know, you want to talk. We have people that want to still talk while, while I'm talking. Can you imagine that? Uh, Okay. Okay. It's just part of being an adult, isn't it? Talking while another, but another talking while an, another uh, adult is talking. That's just part of being an adult. They're talking, and you're talking too. See, it's nice. We're going to do this tune called "The Piano Has Been Drinking." And, that, and after that, I think that's going to be pretty much our show for tonight. So. <laughs> We're pissed off now, boy. <laughs> so the piano has been drinking. Tom Waits, he sings it kind of like, the piano has been drinking. <laughs> We've cleaned it up a little bit, made it a little bit more palatable. Can't see out the other. 
piano tuner's got a hearing aid. Say what? Showed up with his Showed mother. Showed up with his mother. Piano has been drinking. Piano has been Is a sumo wrestler, cream puff, Casper milk toast. The owner is a mental midget with the IQ of a fence post. The piano has been drinking. Piano has been drinking.
Try to put a label, a label on music and everything, a little on styles. Or, uh, and, we, and you know, you might be thinking, or maybe you'll get home and somebody will say, "Well, 
what kind of, what was it they were doing? What kind of, <laughs> what kind of stuff was it? This is, uh, this is Caucasian hip hop, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we are blazing, we are blazing the trail. Here's a tune now, we'd like to ask the ladies to uh, render this gender bender here with uh, I'm an old cow hand. We have a, some of these songs are on, on a couple of different CDs uh, that we brought with us. Uh, 
and they're over there by the front door. <laughs> and um, we'll, we'll be doing a little signing party after, I think, the, sh <laughs> the show. <laughs> start without us. If we're not there, start, go ahead. <laughs> we're going to do a song now from the same era, era, era as uh, the last tune. This is called The Buzzard Was Their Friend. It's a, kind of a, a uh, well, metaphor, perhaps. <laughs> um, I think in a, uh, what's that word I'm thinking? Parable, yes. Parable. Of uh, leadership, and uh, it's actually from a, from a story I got from, um, from Boys Life magazine <laughs> when I was a Boy Scout. I was a Boy Scout early, early on, and then I became a Girl Scout. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is the buzzard was their friend. It's about uh, some some birds that had a friend, and it was a it, it was a buzzard. So the buzzard was their friend. Cool. <laughs> now it all makes sense. <laughs> kind of a jump tune kind of a jump tune, we mean jump by, uh, we by that we mean kind of up tempo. Uh, we do a little jumping. Get back, just go to bat, and they're balls of air. He blew a whistle, blew it just once. Mary in the air and looking round. The winds get dirty, they were getting off dirty, but they didn't mind. That taking prize, I want you gone. A little bit of never did no wrong look in the day. See those buzzards on the way. Cook up all we got, cooking and looking and cooking and looking and cooking and looking. Thank you. 
Silver, uh, an old uh, jazz favorite. It's called "Song for My Father." Horace Silver, uh, pianist, of course, and composer. Uh, lyrics by Britney Spears, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what a treat! What a what a treat! Thank you. Yeah. Well, we, we co-wrote it, Britney and I. We got together. One afternoon. Great, great check. Great woman. <laughs> nice check. Okay, here we go now. Song for my father.
Take a 30 second break now. 30 second break, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes the, the tension and the and the pressure builds, ladies and gentlemen, and we just want to ease off here. Take a 30 second break in the middle of all the all the energy. <laughs> Those that are leaving the room now want to be back by the time that 30 second <laughs> break is over. No one will be allowed back into the room <laughs> until I scare myself. It's the last chorus. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Now, in a couple of a uh, couple of tunes, we're going to have a lady come up and uh, do some guest vocalizing with us. Uh, the very imaginative people that run this series had the imagination to put something on the uh, internet in the last few weeks. They kind of had a, I guess it was a contest, or become a guest lick at, ladies and gentlemen. So we have someone here tonight, a jazz singer from uh, Long Beach area. She'll be up here in a, in a moment. Right now, let's do the uh, Gypsy Jazz instrumental here, uh, Topsy. Now you wanna be back. Oh, she's <laughs> taking this seat here. This is gonna be good. She's <laughs> taking that seat there. Okay, so there's uh, Topsy and I think I'll Swing 42 from the Django Reinhardt, Stephen Grappelli Hot Club kind of uh, 
feel. We're going to have our fine instrumentalists rip us a new one, as they say. This is a j jazz phrase. That's a jazz music, new, new music term I learned. I'm trying to incorporate it into my, uh, my show.
I'd like to welcome, uh, welcome at this time Ellen Johnson up to the up to the stage to do a little singing with us. Welcome, welcome, Ellen. We're going to do uh, one of my tunes called Milkshake and Mama. Here we go, Milkshake and Mama.
Zu bu zu yu zu bu zi bu za bu za bu zi yu ba bu. Shka bu du bu u bi du bi u bi u bi u bi shku bi u bi du bi u bi u bi u bi du bi u bi shku bi u bi du bi u bi shku bi u bi. Luckily, I hung around until she got to work. Later, we get married and had a bunch of little jerks. It's my soda jerk and mama. Soda jerk and baby. I saw the girl who keeps the ice cream. And now I try to scream for strawberries. She'll be back. She'll be back. of Musicians Workshop and our new move into the Cultural Art Music Center. Um, most of you who are here, most of you are sponsors of the workshop. Most of you didn't buy tickets for this. We couldn't afford to do this with the tickets that we sell. So just so you know, um, a piece of what we are able to do. The band that was here tonight, that's our kids, the 13 to 14 year olds. The uh, Blues Review Band under the uh, direction of Ron Kempton, they're awesome. Yeah. big thing is to move us into this new facility. So um, we're hoping that community leaders and business people can help us move into our new building. But right now, why don't we put our hands back together and have some more Dan Hicks and the Hot Rigs. Thank you. called I Scare Myself. Thank you. 
scare myself when I'm with us. I scare myself the moment it's your night. I scare myself when I let my thoughts run. And when they run, I keep thinking.
On one of the uh, CDs been, that's been uh, produced in the last couple of years. The uh, CD in, is called Selected Shorts. Selected Shorts. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Selected Shorts. Available where all fine records are sold, records and CDs, tapes, and all that kind of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have a couple of them out there by the uh, door, I believe. So this is called That Ain't Right, the name of this tune, That Ain't Right. Okay, okay. so it's sort of like uh, taking a look at one, one's life and then thinking about you know, some behavior patterns and going, well, let's see, but that ain't right, you know? <laughs> You're kind of copping to it and everything. But the first line is, uh, I'm hungry, but I just don't feel like eating. Think I'll smoke my dinner tonight. <laughs> But that ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Chestnut, one of my tunes that um, did, a, did a few years back. It was kind of a, I don't know, people like it. It was on the, I think it was on the White Album. But had some success with that. We had some, some, set, some success. Uh, this one's called Payday Blues. Okay. So it's a tune that I, um, it's about a, it tells a little story of a, fellow who's working real hard and uh, his girlfriend at the time uh, leaves him and um, he was working all week. Does anybody here ha have a job? Anybody? <laughs> Just a couple of people. Just a couple of people. I knew it was going to be kind of a trust fund group. I knew. <laughs> I heard about it. I heard about it. So. Uh, so this is, he's going to get this, uh, you know, kind of notice, little notes left by his, uh, it was his common-law wife, ladies and gentlemen, back when they had those, back when they had those, back, then, back when they had those, common-law wife, and um, so then he gets a payday, it's his payday too, so it's a kind of a bittersweet kind of deal, and what he wants to do is, uh, is he, like any good man would do, is go get shit-faced. Ladies and gentlemen, pardon the expression, pardon my, pardon my English, ladies and gentlemen. They put me up to it. They said, no. I said, come on, let me just say, go out and have a good time. And they said, no, say shit face, say it. Say it, say it. So I said it, okay? Thank you, dear. So uh, he's going to go down to the bar where they didn't, uh, he's going to go down with the only support group he knows, ladies and gentlemen. Do, 
going to do a little 12, 12 step in with 12, uh, 12, 12 beers, I think. That's all they knew back then. So here we go with Payday Blues. today I think I'll spend it like a crazy fool or I'll give it all away something like a golden rule and my paycheck ain't hay somebody just don't seem to care ever since she went away and left my little house of cold and bare Tell them that the bank no more. What am I gonna do with all my dough? I'll just smile and tell them things. For it's better than you should know. Then I'll have a little drinky poo. A little place where I can sit and think of you. Well, I don't know. I think I'll have another drink. A little place where I can sit and think. I think about my darling Susie. She left me here on my payday. this one though 
Well, I missed the toilet last night. I went all over the floor. Cleaned it up with my toothbrush. Don't brush my teeth much anymore. That's what happens when you um, you ask for a request, doesn't it? Okay. We got a tune kind of up tempo. It's called Long Come a Viper. Be seen, but it be 
take a try to get. Find a little just hit me with the feeling it'll blow your mind so you wonder where you've been. Everybody got the relation, 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 relation,
have a two song, two song encore. We got a little thing called uh, "Feel Like Singing." Then we're gonna uh, get get Ellen, Ellen back up here with us. We'll do do a surprise tune. So here we go right now though with "I Feel Like Singing." We don't seem to get much enjoyment. Enjoyment. Some are always glad. Others always sad. Lately, lately, seems that I've been somewhere in between. It's a, it's a funny feeling. Love is what I mean. Yes, I'm so in love. Can't tell down from up above. Down, down, down from up above. I feel like singing. Like scoot scoot, bop to boo do, every da da do do. Breed breed beep bop bop scooby, number scan do 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 do. Blue tick, blue lick, blue lock, blue lick, blue loyo. Blue lick beep beep bop 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 bop. Blue 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 blue. Love the mix of the cat. Breed breed breed. Yes, his love has got me somewhere in between. Love has made me fall for a king. I don't know which one, but it sure is fun. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, fun. Hey, 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 like singing. Hey, hey,
so in love. He's so in love. I'm so in love. One, two, three, four. Great. Let's bring Ellen up here. We'll do canned music. Two, three, four. Rhythm 
was all around us We was really stepping now My baby says I'm living for this music I ask her what that's all about She said oh. I'm such a silly girl This music's got me in a whirl It's like That was the night she left me Danced herself into my memory My baby had to leave me for the drama For the drama Ooh, I guess I never saw that mystery I think I learned my lesson From get to near the band When it's music Live like music Live like music Said they can One hit on your mouse, put it in your house when it's can music. Can music. Ooh, little before she left me. Woo! Ask her what that's all about. She says she feel like pippin'. Thanks, folks. Thanks, Alan. Alan Johnson. That's our show for tonight, folks. Mr. Richard John on violin. Mr. David Bell, a shining light on guitar. Shine, my man, shine. Paul Smith on bass. Let's get Dario. Part of your name, myself, Daniel, I hit. We thank you. like to really quickly thank all of our volunteers uh, musicians workshop board of directors thank you so much and all of the volunteers who came out tonight to make tonight possible and all of our sponsors thank you so much thank you very much and once again Dan Hicks in the hot licks I think that must have been in the early 70s. The word got around about the, about the band, and I used to go to a I used to go to a, a, a pub, as we would call it, a, a bar, as you might call it, in America, that played exclusively American import records. An odd thing to do, you know. And uh, my pals and I used to go Friday night, and they played a lot of a lot of things, but the more unusual, the better. And then. Um, Played a lot of things that had a little country uh, rock thing going on, which was popular at the time. And then uh, they started playing, um, I think, maybe Strike It Lucky, one of the early records anyway. And uh, we just used to say, what's that music? You know, because it had this little 40s thing going on in it. And we wanted to know about it, and then little by little picked up the records. You know, I had to track them down a little bit, you know, hard to get. I keep telling you day after day Just a song, ladies and gentlemen You won't listen, you're always staying safe What I liked about dance music was uh, I'd come from a rock background with a lot of jazz in my family and dance music was the only music of the era that had chords and like rhythms that I could relate to like a, 
they weren't rock rhythms. They were kind of a jug band or real fast swing. Or, and I could play that. I had no one to play with. And the chord changes were interesting to me. I just I fell in love with the music. Y'all always stay and stay. How can I miss you? We do. Don't go away. He had these jazz these jazz chords that, you know, I, I like to sing to that, and so I listened and went, gee, I wonder how to, how to learn how to play those chords, how do you learn those chords, and, and he's funny, and, and he sings really perfectly, and he's singing that perfect kind of jazz inflected thing, and so I was attracted to everything about it. I would say that Dan Hicks uh, and the Hot Licks were Jazz, folk, I'm not sure if I'm going to go as far as rock. He gave me a sense of, uh, of the uh, Texas swing feel that uh, was happening with Bob Wills. And it, had a, it had a real swing sort of feel to it, late 30s, early 40s feel as far as uh, the way that the band swung. And, um, you know, it reminded me a lot of, uh, of, of things from the from Bob Wills, but still, it was very original. The material was very original, and uh, he was definitely a genuine, original person. He takes that Western jazz, and he's funny and intelligent, and, and so it's very special in it. And that kind of music and him, they, they kind of only exist really from him, though, I think. Well, I think um, everybody, uh, any songwriter, they've, you know, unless they are just trying to write like any song that would be a hit, in which case they're trying to imitate whatever they heard last on the radio. They usually establish a voice over a time, and obviously, I later on found that Dan obviously had had a whole other career, you know, in a different kind of band, and had made this real sort of bold choice to couch his way of saying things in this particular musical vocabulary. It wasn't sort of like something that just appeared out of, you know, one day woke up and then he was playing this kind of music, but he was playing another kind of music completely before that. Uh, but there were sort of elements of appreciation of things that went in time past. And I, I, I suppose that um, anybody that can make it, you know, we all in popular music, and I mean that popular music as opposed to pop, which has come to mean just something real transient, is that they, they, you take the pieces of what went before and jumble them around until you make a pattern of your own devising. Whatever combination Dan has made out of the pieces that he knows, he's made it completely unique, and yet it also has all these echoes of things that you know went before, and he's not afraid to show them where, where he got those ideas from. These songs are really very, they're, they're some of the best things I, I, uh, I'd have to say. If I, if I put together a group of 10 to 20 songs of my favorite songs, there would definitely be a Dan Hicks song. You said I got a sleepy head. My two favorite songs of his are probably two uh, um, that are not of the more joy joyous thing. When people uh, say the hot, you know, Dan Hicks and the Hot, and imagine like the whole package and uh, of the, you know, the, the capturing that feeling of, uh, of, of those rhythms and uh, you know the instrumentation and the use of voices and everything, and, his, and then his vocal delivery, and and in a way, kind of like with with a sense of humor in the face of, of sadness. Well, my two favorite songs are actually more, more um, I Scare Myself and, um, and and It's Not My Time To Go. So, I mean, <laughs> sorry, trust me to pick the two that are, you know, that's just my mood. They're my two favorites. I think they're the two, two of the best songs ever written. You know? To see him on a night when he was on, where he would just wing it and play with the audience. He's wonderful at playing with an audience. I think probably one of the, the highlights I remember was when we were doing uh, Striking It Rich. And there was just a magic that was happening in that room. 
and I can't even, there's no way to explain it. It's just like everybody was a foot off the ground. I mean, it could have been the herb we were smoking too, but uh, uh, believe me, it was just really an experience that uh, I'll never forget. You want me to tell them everything? Everything. And reasonably brought down a clown could only frown, yeah. We were playing at back east in, I think, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and there was this big set of stairs outside the theater. And we were walking up to the theater, and there were these Grateful Dead guys, kind of deadbeat type guys, that were deadheads. And they had this big tank of um, nitrous oxide or something. They go, hey, you want a hit of this? So Dan went through, and I, I think Jamie went through, and I said, okay, I'll try it. Took this big hit off the nitrous oxide tank, and it knocked me out. I, I fell over backwards, hit my head, I was bleeding. And I finally they woke me up and said, you gotta go on. So I go in there, and everybody's on stage. So Dan looks at me, I'm bleeding, there's blood on me. I can hardly even talk, and he calls the fastest song. It, I had to start playing really fast. And that was sort of the way it was. He would always see your weak point and take advantage of it. There are people who live for the moment, the moment, the moment, the moment. And others who don't seem to get much enjoyment, enjoyment, enjoyment. Some are always glad. You have to be fast on your feet and very precise to see what's in more hills spin on you. <laughs> you know, wouldn't actually spin, but he might. You know, you know, you had to, you had to be really good. I think a really good singer to see what's in. Forget Ahmed Erdogan from Atlantic once said to me uh, when uh, you know, I ran into him at a, at a uh, show at the Troubadour that uh, they were doing, and uh, he were, walked up and he said, "Are you recording these band of gypsies?" Because basically, that's you know that's what they looked like. Actually, Dan, I think at the time when I told him, they had taken it as a compliment. <laughs> It would be nice to just, you know, people seek out good music that they get to hear Dan and his homelings. Because they're, they're really very good. They were always really very good. Dan and I were very good friends. Uh, and my wife was was also a very close friend of Dan's. We, in fact, to the extent where our youngest daughter is, her name is Danielle. Uh, if, uh, if it would have been a boy, it would have been Dan. Uh, and since it was a girl, we, we named her Danielle. We were very close. And uh, I still feel a real closeness to him, even though we don't speak to each other as many times, as much as I'd like to. Mellow as a 
My cello don't play for you. It needs to play. 